back at the 1,000 mile marker. The chaos that has occurred in the last few days in terms of mileage is extreme, but I decided that I was gonna go from trail days and just go all the way up to Harper's Ferry because I made a promise to myself last year when I decided to start all the way over that if the point ever came that my starting over was gonna jeopardize my ability or desire to get to Maine, I would just jump to where I got off. But I also kind of wanted to see the new thousand mile marker this year. So did a little day hike, came out down here, saw the sign, took some pictures, and now headed to Harper's Ferry. So I'm in Harper's Ferry, headed to the post office to deal with these shoes I'm sending back to the company and the stuff I'm sending back home, largely clothing I had for trail days. I am feeling so much better. It is honestly surprising how much better I'm feeling just because to be not repeating more stuff, to be starting something new, I'm just, oh, like the amount of excitement and ha like I'm feeling actually excited to hike again and not just dragging myself along. So definitely this was the right move. Of course, part of me doesn't love skipping mileage, but it's, I'm trying to get to Maine and I've hiked now that same thousand miles twice. Two times over, I've done that same section. So it's all right. I feel, I feel I've gone through the motions. I've done the work. And from here on out, I definitely am pedal to the metal grinding to Maine without doing more, you know, jumping about. Very excited to get going. Very excited to see the rest of the tramley people that are gonna show up. And I have no idea where the day's gonna go, but I'm feeling great, so feeling positive. Also had one of my friends come and hang out. That's how I got from Waynesboro up here to Harper's Ferry. She drove from where I grew up in Maryland because I'm close now. Came down, picked me up, we had a blast. It was really nice to see some people from home, general reset, to be with a friend. Which So everything I've been doing in the last 24 hours has really enhanced my hike overall. And we're hiking again. New pack, new shoes, new sunglasses. Headed down from the hotel into the main Harpers Ferry town. And then we'll see, we'll either do a 17 mile day or a 23 mile day, kind of depending on how we feel. Very excited because all of this is new for me. I have hiked the Maryland section before, but it was several years ago and I did it southbound. So I'm just calling this new. Very, very excited to be on trail that I don't necessarily know so well and I haven't very recently hiked. Definitely trying to get back on track, have more consistency with hiking. So we'll kind of see how mileage and stuff like that works out. I'm absolutely vibing down this trail. Howling for You by the Black Keys, excellent hiking song. I feel so, I don't know, just rejuvenated, excited. I keep picturing Katahdin now. I think I was just getting in a real slump of repeating mileage and the Virginia Blues, and it was just a, not a good combo for me. So I'm in a much better place now, and I'm excited, and like things, fun things are coming up. We have, we're gonna finish up Maryland, then halfway, half gallon challenge, and then my birthday is in June, and it's just so many exciting things. I'm so ready to go and hike. Also, update on the new gear. Love the sunglasses. My boots so far are okay. Definitely a little stiff, need a little bit of a breaking in. I might try and get an insole to put in them to make them a little more cushy and pack so far. It's all right, I'm definitely feeling it in my upper back a lot more than I did with my other pack. I think it's because the other one, really all of the weight goes on your hips, the way the pack is designed and there's the zero gravity mesh in the back. So that's gonna be something to get used to. Hopefully I'll get my, my back muscles will start popping and I'll get used to it. So 
overall, so far so good. It's definitely lighter, and these shoes also have a higher heel drop. It's back to the six millimeter, which is what I've always hiked in, which is making it easier to go uphill on my calves. So, you know, everything's coming up sunny. This shelter is so nice. I mean, look at this. This is like pristine. And there's an upstairs with a little AT symbol. Hot dang. Ed Garvey, man. Looks great. Stopping at this first shelter. Gonna have a little snack before continuing on. Gonna get water in about three miles. If I can just push it, because I really don't want to walk down this hill to get the water that's here. But, you know, gonna sign the logbook. The boys are also here. They walk down the hill to get water. So, I'm gonna head on out here pretty quickly. Keep going with the day. The cool thing about the AT in Maryland is there is so much history. So right now I'm in the Washington Monument State Park and there's all these plaque thingies that have highlights or important things from his life. And then the original, or maybe the smaller, another Washington Monument is up here at the top of this hill and the AT walks right past it. So there's also been a ton of other battlefields we walked past or through other big monuments or just cool stuff like that. That's all Civil War or Revolutionary War history. And I really like history. So this is super duper neat. The monument right up there, and then there's the trail. Today I am headed out before the crack of dawn. Just a teensiest bit of light up, but I still have to use my headlamp. The reason I'm going so early is because the plan today is to do 18 point something miles to a road and then road walk into Waynesboro, Pennsylvania to resupply and get some food, regular food. And then we're not gonna stay in town. We're gonna walk back out on the road and keep hiking on trail to the next shelter so we're trying to get to town by like lunchtime. we have to do those 18 miles before 12 30 or 1 ideally that way we don't have to be rushed in town and we have time after to hike back out without hiking in the dark so up very early i don't mind i like early i've also been up since 145. It's currently 515. I don't know why I was up that early. I just could not go back to sleep. So here we are hiking out and it's a little cold actually. Colder than I would have thought or liked. So I have my jacket on but it's also nice because it's so hot during the day now. A little bit of cold is good. I'm back where it all began. My mom and I took a selfie right here at this sign, and we started walking south to Harper's Ferry, and I have never walked north of this point, which means everything going forward is completely new. And honestly, I'm a little emotional because it, it's been three years that I've been going after this goal, and I have not made it past this point. So it's a little scary, but it's also exciting and I'm looking forward to new stuff. I'm also looking forward to going into town today. We're gonna get some food and then just pop right back out on trail. But 
town is always fun. There's some KFC and a subway. And we're also gonna resupply at Walmart. So yeah, the Mason Dixon line sign is somewhere over here. And I'm gonna go find that and take a picture and wait for the rest of the boys to show up. Mm -hmm. 